my dear students how are you hope all of you are fine by the grace of almighty alhamdulillah i am also fine welcome to our online video class before start class i want to introduce myself i am shahnaz parvin lecturer department of biology milestone college uttara dhaka dear students milestone college conducting online class in order to remain connected Malaysian College arranged live class and recorded video class which can facilitate teacher and students interactions. Today our first class. Dear students, you know biology has two parts. Biology first part or botany and biology second part or zoology. I discuss the contents of biology first part. There are 12 chapter in your botany book or biology first part book today i will discuss chapter 1 cell and its structure and today we learn about cells in this topic we learn definition and characteristics of cell different organelles of a cell and difference between different types of cells at the end of this class you will be able to define cells you will be able to define the types of cells you will be able to say the organelles of the cell and you will be able to identify different parts by drawing knowledge based question cell eukaryotic and prokaryotic cell somatic cell and reproductive cell and unit membrane you have to learn this knowledge based question Comprehensive based question. Difference between eukaryotic and prokaryotic cell, somatic and reproductive cell, plant and animal cell. So, what is cell? It is derived from the Latin word cellula, meaning small compartment. Such small compartments are generally called cells. So, cell is the basic structural, functional and biological unit of all known living organisms. Discovery of cell. The scientists who have contributed to the discovery of the cell. Hans and Zacharias Janssen, Robert Hooke, Matthias Leiden, Theodore Schwann and Robert Brown. In 1665, English scientist Robert Hooke discovered cells while looking at a thin slice of cork. He described the cells as tiny boxes or a honeycomb. He thought that cells only existed in plants and fungi. In this slide, you can see the microscopic view of cell which is observed by Robert Hooke. Cell theory. German botanist Sladen and Swan introduced cytology. According to them, cell is the structural and functional unit of the organism. Cells are the basic unit of life. Cell is the unit of heredity. All cells originate through the division of the former cell. Characteristics of cell Sensing and responding to change in surrounding environment Control exchange of materials between cell and its surrounding environment Perform chemical reactions that provide energy for the cell Synthesize needed cellular components In this slide you can see the examples of some cells such as amoeba, plant cell, bacteria, nerve cell and red blood cells the shape of cell the shape of cells are quite varied cell shape varies depending both function and surface area requirements in this slide you can see the various types of cell such as red blood cell columnar epithelial cells ovum cell smooth muscle cells bone cell, nerve cell, and sperm cell. Unit membrane model. 
According to Robertson, 1950, chemically plasma membrane consists of, consists of three layers. These are protein, lipid, protein. So it can be said that the membrane of all those cells made with protein, lipid, protein, that means PLP, are called unit membrane. In this slide, you can see the model of Robertson unit membrane model. In this slide, you can see the round shaped head which is made of phosphate and tail is made of lipid. Lipid tail stands face to face and protein head are in the opposite direction. Now we learn the classification of cell at first based on the structure of the nucleus. These are two types prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell. Prokaryotic cell. Those cells lacking of nuclear membrane bound well organized nucleus are known as prokaryotic cells. Example, bacteria, mycoplasma and cyanobacteria. In this slide you can see the bacteria cell which is prokaryotic cell. Eukaryotic cell. Those cells having the nucleus surrounded by a membrane are known as the eukaryotic cells. Example, animal and plant body consist of eukaryotic cells. In this slide you can see the eukaryotic cell. In this slide you can see the difference between eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells. You can uh, differentiate by definition, example, nucleus, organism type, chromosome, ribosome, growth rate or organelles. On the basis of function, cells are two types, somatic cell and generative cell. Somatic cell. The cells constitute the body structure of the living organisms only are called somatic cell. It is generally diploid, produced through mitosis. Generative cell. The cells constitute the body structure of the living organisms only are called somatic cell. It is generally haploid, produced through meiosis. In this slide, you can see the difference between somatic cell and generative cell. We have to learn this difference. On the basis of presence in the organism, cell are two types, plant cell and animal cell. Plant cell, it contain hard cell walls made up of cellulose around them. Large vacuole is present at the cell center and plastids are present in the cytoplasm. Matured cells are oval, round or rectangular shape. Their storage food generally starch. In this slide, you can see the plant cell. Animal cell. Cell wall is absent in animal cells and vacuoles are generally absent or very small in size. Plastids are absent in animal cells but centrosome Golgi bodies are present in the cytoplasm. They contain glycogen or fat as the storage food. In this slide you can see the structure of animal cell. In this slide you can see the difference between plant cell and animal cell. Plant cell, cell wall is present but animal cell, cell wall is absent. Plastids are present in plant cell, plastids are absent in animal cell. Vacuole is large in shape, large in shape in plant cell. Vacuoles are generally absent or very small in size in animal cell. Storage food is starch in plant cell and storage food is glycogen or fat in animal cell. Now I am going to start how to draw a plant cell. Dear student, start draw with me.
at first I draw outer layer of plant cell. This is called cell wall. The second layer is called cell membrane. Now I am going to draw a vacuole which is situated in the middle of the plant cell. Now I am going to draw a nucleus. This is nucleus and the outer layer of the nucleus is called nuclear membrane. This is nucleolus. This is nucleoplasm. This is nuclear reticulum. This is nuclear pore and all together it is called nucleus. Now, I am going to draw a Golgi body. This is called Golgi body. This is called lysosome. This organelle is called ribosome. This organelle is called microtubules.
Now, I am going to draw a chloroplast. This is called chloroplast. This is called endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic reticulum also situated besides the nucleus. This is called endoplasmic reticulum which is rough. Now, I am going to draw a mitochondria. This is called cytoplasm. This is called endoplasmic reticulum which is smooth. As a biology student, you should have to write the figure name at the bottom. So, the figure name is an ideal plant cell. So, hope all of you understand today's lecture. If you have any question, ask your subjective teacher. Now, I want to give you a homework. Draw a level diagram of a plant cell and submit HW copy in your WhatsApp group section. Thank you so much for your attention and being with me. For today, that's all from my side. Stay home, stay safe and save a life. See you in the next class. Until then, Allah Hafiz.